One of the most important qualities that a good program can have is that it's flexible enough to handle a wide variety of scenarios. A way in which we can allow our programs to cope with different situations is by letting them make choices based on certain criteria that we set. In this chapter, we're going to be looking at the way in which we can tell our Perl scripts what choices to make depending on certain conditions that we set up within our Perl scripts. We're going to be looking at conditional statements generally and the operators which make these statements possible. We're also going to be looking at what happens when we have multiple possibilities within a Perl script. We're also going to be examining and introducing logical operators. And finally, nesting conditional blocks within un other conditional blocks. First of all, let's have a look at the very basics of conditional statements and operators. This program here, or the flowchart that simulates a program, is a very linear set of instructions. There's only one way that we can go through this program. First we have to boil the kettle, then we move on to soaking the tea, then add the milk, then add the sugar, and then stir. There's no possibility of any choices taking place there. If we introduce a conditional statement, we're able to make choices depending on, in this case, some input. We could prompt the user to see whether they want sugar, and then based on the answer that they give, we can put sugar or not into their cup of tea. This is a very simple example, but it shows the kind of thing that we need to be aiming for when we put conditional statements into our programs. It's that kind of flexibility that offers a facility to cope with a broader variety of situations. The basic building block which we use to construct a conditional statement, or one of them, is the if statement. The if statement syntax is roughly like this. We use the if keyword here, then in a pair of normal brackets or parentheses we put a condition. And we're going to look at how to build one of those conditions in just a moment. If the condition is true, then these statements, whatever they are, need to be carried out. We're able to mark out exactly which statements are dependent on the condition being true by using these two curly brackets here. Now when I say that the condition is either true or not, it's a reflection of the binary nature of the computer's workings. So once it evaluates a condition, it will either come up with a true or a false answer, either a 1 or a 0.